Tulamela, a stone walled site in the far north of Kruger, dating back to more than 400 years. While some artifacts have been collected and kept in museums, little is known about this heritage site. And now research is underway to build sustainable connections. So our work is trying to re-engage with Tulamela to think more critically about what happened at this pre-colonial kingdom. It was around in the mid-second millennium AD, it rose to a period of opulence and then it declined. We don't know exactly when, we don't know for how long precisely, we don't know the, 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 the perfect chronology for the site. We have all of these amazing finds but actually very little tangible knowledge. And what we do talk, when we do talk about Tulamela, it's largely based on assumptions with, with sites like Great Zimbabwe and Mapungubwe. So what we want to do is figure out exactly when it was occupied over what period and then we could start to tease out some of the really important trade links that were happening at that time. Tulamela, like Mapungubwe, like Great Zimbabwe, was a really important seat of power and part of that was trading local resources with global prestige items. The conference also looked at water management from source to sea and the fish migration on the river connections. You are looking at uh promoting connectivity within system to, pro to promote migration of species and to bring an understanding that some of these systems can be free-flowing from source to sea and what that means is means that um, you will have species, migratory species, migrating upstream to complete their life cycles. In so doing, you have an opportunity to have intact systems while providing food. And some researchers are working on the use of AI in conservation. The research is at an advanced stage. It can be used, if you think there's some researchers that are actually looking at how AI can assist with African penguin monitoring. So you can get pictures of penguins and it can count the penguins for you, it can spot penguins in images as well. Um, that's a researcher from Rhodes University. There's another researcher, a French researcher, that's actually looking at AI assistance for lion behavior monitoring. So he has sound loggers on it and you can actually evaluate what a lion is doing just based on the sound. Um, and then there's another researcher actually that's looking at building an app and using AI assistance to actually scan online websites to look for online websites that might be selling illegal animal products. The relations with communities living near the park is vital to ensure that natural resources can be shared and appreciated. I'm trying to promote access for people to be able to harvest natural resources that they haven't always had the opportunity to harvest before because it's important for their livelihoods. Um, and then it's important for us that people value the protected areas that they live next to um, because that hasn't always been the case. So we've got a number of different projects that we work on. Um, one of the main ones is working with traditional healers. Of course, they're also really important within the local communities. Um, they're very well respected and we value them a lot because of the work that they do within amongst the communities and also because of the connections that they have to the natural heritage within these landscapes. The meeting seeks to promote evidence-based decisions and direct research to address conservation needs. Dumela Machoho, SABC News, Kruger National Park.